Well, that could get confusing, couldn't it? I've got three first team starters, all with the surname Gonzalez. That's fine, I'm gonna have to make use of some nicknames. That's, that's all that means. Creaky chair. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My chair creaks a lot. I talk about it a lot. It's annoying. I should just buy a new chair. Anyway, you're not here for chair talk. You're here for Universidad de Concepcion Manager's Journey talk. So, yesterday, I said, hey, hello, really. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Early Determined Event with me. My name is Chris. So, yesterday, we took a job as the manager of Universidad de Concepcion, founded in 1994. Uh, I have probably been the first English manager here. They're currently bottom of the league, occupying the only relegation spot, which is good. We are about halfway through the season, it looks like. They have won once, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, it, it, could be, it could be tough. We've got our first game in five days' time. I haven't even looked at the squad yet, but we've got our first game in, fi first game in five days' time against Union San Felipe. Union San Felipe are currently in 13th, so it's possibly, possibly a game we could be looking at getting a result in. We need to figure out, and that's what we're going to do in this episode, and playing that first game, we need to figure out what kind of system we're going to be playing, what we can do, what we need. We're going to have a quick look around the rest of the club, we'll see what we can plan for the future. Um, just because this is a journeyman save, I'm not going to be jumping from club to club. Or well, the idea, anyway, is not to jump from club to club as often as possible. I would like to stay at some clubs for a, for a while, and perhaps Universidad de Concepcion is the one that we stay at for a little while in this one. I've jumped around a lot in the last one, but mostly because uh, all my players let me down consistently, and I couldn't keep a job. So maybe that won't happen this time. Maybe before we get into the squad, let's have a little look at the finances. We got two hundred thousand pounds in the bank, which is pretty good. We lost £11,000 last month, so our expenditure is 49000 our income is 37000 We're running at a loss, obviously. We always run at a loss. Our wage budget is out already. I'm going to have to dip into the transfer budget to fix that. All of the transfer budget, and we're still, we're still out. That's, that's not good. That isn't good. Can I change the budget? No, no, I can't. Fine. Right. Um, okay, so that's that. Good. So we've got money. We're over the wage budget. We've got no transfer money now because we're... We've had to put it all into the wage budget to try and balance that, and that hasn't, hasn't worked. Staff-wise, we're missing some coaches, missing some scouts. I haven't got a physio. We haven't got a single... We've got one head physio. Okay, so that's, that's on the list as well. That's on the list to do. So staff, money, you know, all these, all these issues that you have when you first start a new club. We'll look at the dynamics. Team Cohesion is very poor. They hate me. Hey, yeah, I haven't even met them yet. Should we meet them? Should we meet them? Let's um. What? Hang on. What does the What does the club expect from us? And what do What do I tell them that we're going to do? Finish in mid table. Finish in mid table. Um. I might suggest that we're good enough to avoid relegation. Maybe not mid table. Let's see how this goes. Right. Overall meeting atmosphere is downcast. I know. I hate meetings as well. I know that some of you may not have heard of me, and how dare you not have heard of me? Uh, so I wanted to personally introduce myself to you as the new manager. Positive. Your reputation is sure to increase if you meet expectations. I look forward to your management. Well, thank you very much, Manuel. Thank you very much. I would like to talk about our cam Campeonato Primera B aims for the rest of the campaign. There's going to be some terrible pronunciations of words here as well across this entire save. Hello, Editor Chris here. So he said pronunciation when he meant pronunciation. So when he said that he was going to be pronouncing word wrong, he pronounced the word wrong that describes the way in which a word is pronounced. He's, um, He's an idiot. He's an idiot. I'll get back to him. Let's just let's just accept it right now and move on from it. I think this squad is, is capable of avoiding bottom. I'll start that again. I believe this squad is capable of avoiding finishing bottom of the table. Come on now, at least try to be ambitious. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Let's try and finish in the top half. Some of them didn't like that. Well, some of them, some of them think that we're not good enough for top half. Some of them think not finishing bottom is too unambitious. I respect that each of you's got your own opinion. That'll be it, because I think if I talk any more, people are going to hate me. People are going to hate me even more. Right, okay, fine, fine, fine. Club atmosphere is very good now. That's, that's handy. Right, so I, I think I mentioned it briefly yesterday. If I didn't, I meant to, so we'll, we'll talk about it now. Uh, I, I really like the idea of club DNA. It's, it's something that I've nicked from uh, Bust the Net years ago when I was reading his blog uh, in like FM 18, 17, one of them. Uh, and he talks about having like defined attributes that all of your players should be at least good in and that forms the backbone of your of your club now previously what i've done is that's been like technical stuff or physical stuff uh, this year uh, i'm going for mostly mental stuff but also with one with one technical thing the main i'm gonna move these around so uh, fuck this this separator thing is dumb it doesn't work properly look i just want to put that there but it moves it into the other th uh, whatever 
Right, let's move them around, then add the separator. So, work rate, teamwork, composure, and then technique. Those are my those are my jammers this year. Insert separator to the left. There we go. Right. So, so work rate, which is if we have a look at it in, well, let's just pick Gabriel. Work rate is the willingness to work beyond to work to his full capacity, going above and beyond the call of duty. Basically, how hard it is work rate. Right? How hard they're going to work for you. Are they going to be running for the full ninety? Are they going to be putting in tackles and putting in a shift and all that sort of stuff? That's what I, that's one thing I really care about. Teamwork is the other one, which is uh, how the player follows tactical instructions, but also how they work alongside their teammates. So if they work hard and they work well as a team. I think we're halfway there to a good unit already. Technique is obviously how well they're able of how well they're able to handle not handle but use the ball. And I think I'm pretty sure technique influences behind the scenes a bunch of other things like passing, first touch, all that sort of stuff, crossing, dribbling, maybe not dribbling. Don't know, but I think it's I think technique's very important. And the last one is composure. Uh, so the last mental attribute is composure. I want calm players basically. I want players who work hard, who work for each other, who are calm when they do their stuff, and are good on the ball. That's pretty much. All I'm looking for in terms of making sure that my players have got at least like, depending on the, the level of the league, but at least an average ability in those things. Sebastian Diaz, I think, is obviously first name on the team sheet, defensive midfielder. He can play as the halfback, and I do like a halfback, especially in this year's version. Play with a halfback. Boop, boop. That means that he is uh, going to drop in here. These two players will push wider, which means that these players can push on. And with these players pushing on, they'll be able to fill in the middle of, like if we put them as inverted, they could fill in here, allowing these players to move forward. So we could end up with five in attack with, with a sort of five at the back. So a five, five shape, which is a bit, bit strange, but possibly something to think about. If we put a half back there, we've got to know that our full backs are capable of getting up and down the pitch. So already Rodrigo Gonzalez, he looks pretty good. He plays as a winger naturally, which means we can definitely stick him as a complete wing back on support on that side and get him up the pitch. Got the good work rate, he's got good teamwork. Good technique, not quite as composed, but you know he can get up and down as well. He's got the pace and acceleration to do that. So I think we'll make him complete wing back on support, so he can get forward and support whoever we end up on the right hand side here. So let's have a look at our right wingers. This bit's the fun bit when you look at all your players and you think, oh yeah, we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll play this way, and we'll play that way, and then you play your first match and they're piss poor. You know, oh no, I just wasted all that time, all those hours of my life. I'm never going to get back. We've got Gabriel Nurabuena, Nurambuena, who's on loan. He likes to play as a winger attack. So I like that. So we could put him as a, as a winger on attack. Obviously, this side now is quite forward thinking. We're going to need someone in the middle who's not forward thinking so much. So we probably want on this side the, the more stationary playmaker or a more stationary player. Probably a deep line playmaker from defend. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. So then on over on the left side, let's have a look at our left backs. Jose Martinez is our only left back. Oh no, we've got Luca Molina and Damian Gonzalez, who is a winger by trade by the looks of it. So let's have a look at Jose Mon Martinez, 32 years old. Decent pace, decent acceleration, got work rate, teamwork, uh, composure, not quite as good technically, and he doesn't like getting too far forward, but that's fine. So we can have a wing back, a full yeah, full back on support on that side. Seems to make sense, because that's what he's good at. Luca Molina. He's a youngster, wing back on defend. Yeah, so it's saying that that's... I mean, look at the work rate on him. Oh, his technique's piss ball though. Yeesh. So I think then that side... Yeah, that side, full back on support. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Hmm, what does that mean? Ah, see, he likes being a... He definitely likes being a winger. Okay, we can keep that. And we're going to need a runner for the midfield, right? Supporting supporting our attack. So what about... What have we got in the centre? Who have we got in the centre? So Kevin Medell is the guy that's currently in there, but he's definitely like a, he's a ball winner. We could have him as a Carolero where he's just shuttling back and forth, but then he's not shuttling up into the box. So really what I want in there is a player who's going to get forward. Maybe I move Gale Galeagos, Ga Gale Galeagos? Seb. I move Seb over to the left like that. Medell can stay there as the ball winner, I guess, but then we don't have a playmaker. We'll leave Cuban deep line playmaker on defend and then Galeagos, Galeagos. I'm going to pop him as a Mazzara on attack. So that he will be that runner getting up here and supporting the attack. And then I guess striker is, is probably the next thing to think about. Perez is the pressing forward on attack. He seems quite well-rounded. 28 years old, fringe player in his prime years. Yeah, he seems like he might be our starting striker for now. So that's kind of the that's kind of the idea. I want I want Diaz pushing back or dropping back into this line to create a three. Gonzalez getting up to support Nurabuena 
on the on the on the right hand side. Uh, Gallegos getting up to support Perez. It's going to be hounding the defence. Gonzalez getting to the byline, putting crosses in. Martinez probably just going to get to about here, which is going to cover this gap as well. I think, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense to me. Media have been on your backs for ages. Yes, everyone hates the media, don't they? Oh, tunnel. I've got anyone to send to the tunnel interviews. Um, let's send the head of youth development. There we go. He can go and do it. I hate tunnel interviews. Wow, that is a big ground and nobody in it. <laughs> Wowzers. Is this going to be set up in a stupid? Yeah, okay, good. Good. That's I'm glad they've changed that for the football manager 24. You know, they've, uh, we'll leave it on extended, I think, for this first match as well, just so we can get an idea of what's going on. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, made it so you don't have to do this every single time you start a new game, haven't they? Yeah, that's good. Come on, guys. Right, we are in the yellow. We're you deck. They are in the white, I think. Yes, they are. They're in the white. And to left, Jara down this right hand side. Cuts back to one, another Gonzalez. He's just walked it out of play. Brilliant. I love low league football. Love it. Martinez on this throw in for us. Gives it into Diaz. Diaz is our defensive midfielder. He finds Perez up at the top of the pitch. It's a gr oh, nearly a brilliant uh, through ball. Didn't quite come off. And Lujan now for, uh, for whoever we're playing on the break. Garcia claims it. Garcia in his wonderful bright pink kit. Boom. Up the pitch. Perez win that. He does win it, kind of. Sandoval or Mitz for, uh, for San Felipe. I don't know the names yet. USF. He's injured. Get that player off. Put the ball out of play. He's injured. It's a good pass. It's a good pass. Well covered, though. Well covered. Valdez. Under a bit of pressure here. Under a little bit of pressure. Shoots. Wow. I mean, all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's. How did it. What? <laughs> what? How do you stop that? <laughs> I thought we're under a bit of pressure here, but we're doing all right. And then he, he unleashes this. What? Oh, dear. Gonzalo is over the corner for them. Swings it in. Valdez at the back. Ahumada clears it only as far as Jara. Jara takes a shot, and it nearly goes in. God, these long shots are brutal. Another corner. We can't get out. Cannot get out. Clear it. Diaz does clear it. Laula. Is he going to get there first? He is. Laula gets there first. What a brilliant turn of pace from him. Cuts back, gives it to Gonzalez. Back to Laula, end of the highlight. Gallegos, free kick. Go oh, off the bar, was that? Or was that a save? Noren Buena, fouled. It's going to be another free kick. A little bit of pressure from us. Who's over this? Gallegos again. Go on, back of the net. Back of the net. Uh, just over. Right, I'm going to change the highlights to key. Just, I'm, I've, I've got to try and like raise the spirits a little bit because they're all just down. Look at them. All nervous and miserable. Gonzalez felt the pressure lifted. Playing okay. 6.3. So that's been Sebastian Diaz has picked up a knock. So I think we'll take him off. Nobody's playing very well. Up the press a little bit. So if we can push him back. USF are going to break now. Valdez on the right hand side. Uh, I don't like it. Yara. Tackle him. Foul him. Do something. Kick him. Lofted ball in. Gonzalez doesn't clear it. He's offside. He's offside, surely. Surely that's offside. Yes. Yes. No VAR, I don't think. No VAR down here. Free kick. Gallegos over it. Come on. Back of the net. Back of the net. Back of the net. Back of the net. Oh, off the bar. Martinez. Chest it down. Tight control. Bikes, uh, bikes a bit of space for himself. Mead at the uh, end of the highlight. End of the highlight. Right, I'm going positive. We're, I think we're playing well. We're playing well enough, I think, to go to positive here. Gallegos wins that ball. Only as far, I'm going to go as far as USF. Those are find some space. Oh, it comes off the post. Their long shots are incredible. Let's make some more changes. So Perez can come off a bog miss. Who else isn't playing particularly well? Another right back on here. Salidas. Can he do the complete wing back? He can. Covedo can come on on the left hand side. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Martinez throwing 60 second minute on the clock. Martinez cuts back, gives it to Laula. Laula finds the sub who's come on. Bogmis, oh, straight at the keeper. Oh, man. Free kick. Diego swings it in. Bogmis at the back post. Doesn't get anything on it. Cavedo picks up the loose ball. Nearly runs it out of play, but not quite. San Huesa. San Huesa? San Huesa. Ahumada. Medel. Noren Buena. Cross it. Square it. Square it. Get in. Job, Bogmis. What a job Bogmis has done. 1 1. Come on. Yes. Lovely stuff. Ahumada, Medel, just a lofted ball forward. Noren Buena got the pace, didn't give it up. I mean, that's a bit of a lucky uh, <laughs> a lucky sort of chest somehow. But uh, we'll take it. Job Bogmis does not miss from two yards. We're doing well. 
We are doing well. We, I think we've been the better team here, to be honest. They've had that one wonder goal, and that was it. Salidas. Is it Salidas? It was Saldias, sorry. Noren Buena, Ahumada. Lost the ball forward, Bognes. Nearly onto it. Not quite. Gallegos. Yes! 2-1! Come on, it's his first goal of the season as well. 2-1! Bloody hell. Right, balance. We're going to go balance. I'm going to praise the boys. Praise the boys. What a ball forward. Bognes doesn't quite get there, but it's a poor pass from Garrido. Gallegos dives in, puts it in that far corner. Yes! Unbelievable stuff. Try and calm things down a little bit. I'm going to praise the boys again. Sal Diaz, Oriana, swings the ball in. Doesn't come for anything. Hered Heredia in goal. I love these names. Love them. Punts the ball forward. Win that. Nope, straight over the top. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, two of my most hated things. 86 minutes on the clock. Just this. I hate this. I can't believe this is still here. Lofted ball. Doesn't even attempt to like reposition himself and jump for it. Nothing. He just lets it go over his head straight into Sandoval's feet. How many years now has that been a thing? Two enormous long shots and it's 2-2. 88 minutes on the clock. Oh, they score a winner now. Clear that. Just wide. 2-2. Oh. Two -two. I think that's... I don't, I, I don't think they've deserved that. Personally, I think... How many long shots? Six. They had six long shots. We had seven. But both of our goals were, were, were from, uh, from close range. No clear-cut chances for them. Two half chances. Two half chances for us and one clear-cut chance. Like, I, I hate that long ball over the top nonsense where they don't jump for it. Oh, come on! They didn't like that we won the statistical battle. Jesus. Miseries. Well, this has gone well, hasn't it? This has gone well. Sal Diaz wants to discuss club matters. Confuse the team with your team talk against Union San Felipe. Yeah, all right, whatever. I'll try and be better. What? Why? What's he find confusing about it? Like, we played well and didn't deserve to draw. Really? What's wrong with that? Uh, FM24. It's kind of like FM23.75, but with a really good match engine. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, leave a like on the channel, on, on the channel, on the video. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back here for some more Universidad de Concepcion. That is the team name, isn't it?